so um i already put my son in the bus it's seven o'clock a.m i'm gonna start working on my tree and um nothing to start i don't know because i found another location that's closer to me i'm going to one location that's like four miles away and there's a location that's only one mile away but the reviews are different one review is really so <clears throat> like i was saying that the station the other location it is closer to me but it has really really bad reviews the location that i'm going to is like 4.5 the location that is around my house is like one point something so then i'm like too many people giving bad reviews in that location so it's probably worth the trip so i'm just gonna start packing and making sure that i don't leave anything behind anything that i could take to the storage i'm taking it which is like my son's stroller i have my son's stroller who since he was born i don't want to give it away because i want to use it for my other kids in the future and i love that stroller it's from the brand mamas and papas but this is what i will be doing today stay tuned so this is me trying to put everything away organizing everything that's like my ornament and bags of decorations that i have inside that um santa bag and i'm just trying to put all the christmas stuff away as I um, am thinking, in the meantime, my storage unit hopefully is big enough to accept everything that I'm going to put into it. So, stay tuned. So this is my closet. Most of the things that are gonna go into storage is placed in this closet. And I'm very excited to get rid of them. Unfortunately for the air conditioner, it's gonna end up staying because it's so heavy and there's no point of me taking it. But the stroller is definitely going and I'm very excited. Here are my uniforms. These are my old uniform when I used to work in McDonald's. <laughs> oh God when i used to work in the post office and the food emporium which it comes with a shirt but i don't know where it is i got my hats got my pants this is when i used to work in the parking spot and this is mcdonald's that a, a janitor from mcdonald i mean from the usps i did janitor from the usps gave me that so i could remember her Oh my god. Right here, badge where it says conduit with like the last company I worked for. Share one storage hack, which is this over the door ironing board. Let me tell you, it's the best. And let me just take a nice picture for you guys. But that, you open it up, you iron there, and you know, you fold it right back up, and you'll be good. No space invasion. Or it should be. So look. How it looks. So now that I clear down all the space, I'm gonna see this is this is one thing that's gonna go in there for sure. And uh, my um I'm gonna see if I fit my blow my blow dryer in there because I really don't wanna take it to storage. So I'm over here. I'm like, okay, let me organize everything before I go. Let me make sure my, my living room is organized and everything is put into place as best as possible. So here I am trying to clean up my living room. Very excited, very excited for my 
storage locker. I keep calling it unit, but it's really a locker. So, and I'm just making sure everything is up to date with my Valentine theme that I have going on. And yeah, just keep watching. This is everything that I'm taking to the storage. And I hope it fits because I got a five by five locker, but this is Noelle's stroller, the one I was talking about. This is Noelle's room. room. This is the mess that my son leaves me every day. This room room. gets clean every day. So I'm gonna make it my business that before I leave this house, this room is clean as soon as possible and here i am cleaning up the room making sure all the toys are where it's supposed to be and ain't nobody could tell me that no parent in the world doesn't always clean this room faster than their own room the kids room are the first room to clean and the fastest for me i do not last long in the in my son's room i put everything where it goes and that's it I don't last long anymore before i used to like play with his toys wonder who bought him this who bought him that but i'm glad that i'm not in that stage anymore and i'm like okay let me clean this up because i gotta get get going and i know this room could take me days and hours and i have to just move at my pace so here i am cleaning the room stay tuned
and I just noticed how bad this rug is placed but I will be fixing that soon and the room is clean so now that I picked up everything I'm gonna take this to the storage hopefully they all fit in my car because that's what I gotta get rid of and I am and then when I come back I start working on my room and stuff and whatever little things that I have to take in storage I could just do that little by little but all of this gotta go today now i am done putting things away so now i'm gonna take this to the storage room and i picked up a few things in the house like my son's room i picked up the kitchen it looks messy still but i have to still do more i just cannot spend the whole day doing the kitchen um i removed the tree and i just gotta take everything to the storage wish me luck I have to do this all by myself. I have to go to my car and move the car closer so I could bring everything down because I don't own a trolley and I just hope I find parking right away because at this time everybody's parked. So there's no parking so I'm gonna have to throw the car in the in the <clears throat> in the pump because too far i'm in i'm so far i'm not gonna be able to move everything i have to move to my car so it's so far so i'm better off just getting inside my car and putting and parking in front of the pump so then i could just move everything downstairs i'm so excited for the storage unit so now i'm inside my car so i'm thinking should i just do reverse all the way to the front of the building or should i just I don't know I don't know because if I go reverse there's always cars coming so I like to do the safe route which is all the way around but I have to hurry up because it's already about to be 12 o'clock and I need to get this done now now that I'm inside of my vehicle I'm just gonna go around the block so I could park in front of the pump safely because I do not want to go and do reverse and seat of my car you could move it forward so it could be like a longer space a more more um open space so i'm thinking about just doing that i don't know maybe because i have ugh, a whole harness attached to it so i'm gonna see i'm gonna see okay so i decided to just take everything down and just place it in the front in the backyard in front of the door and just keep bringing things down so i could just stuff them into the car because i am parked in front of the pump so so through the back staircase, I moved 80% of the stuff. I'm only gonna take this down. I was gonna take the air conditioner, but I'm just gonna leave it in the closet since I already removed a lot of stuff. It should be enough space for the air conditioner to be there. So I'm not gonna take the air conditioner because it's already heavy and I'm already going through so much with just the items that I have. So I'm just gonna see the space in the storage room to see how it really is. And then you already know. Take the elevator and exit to the back door through the yard and try to put everything in hopefully i haven't gotten a ticket because i am parked in the pump like who the hell do i think i am so i put everything that i'm just gonna take inside the vehicle oh i must see the space of the unit before i take the air conditioner but most likely that air conditioner i'm gonna give it to my mom because i'm trying to buy a window air conditioner because that floor air conditioner it's pretty annoying to me so he keeps asking him to feed him some empanadas like i know patelito i don't know how to make empanadas and then he wants some mango like man do you see me struggling and you haven't even said let me help you says i only clean the lobby because i don't clean nothing else in this building only the lobby okay so I already moved everything down. I'm just coming upstairs to use the bathroom, get my phone, get my purse, and I should be on my way. TTYL, talk to you later. In the vehicle, look. So these are my Christmas decorations. That my that's my computer um, box. That's my Christmas tree and all the all, all the things I put inside and. And then in the trunk, I put the stroller and everything else. So now I'm on my way to the storage to get this over with. So I'm in the storage. Yeah, 
Um, Hopefully all Punch. of this fits. Punch yours one more time. Four. Nope, it's not made up. Some over here lost in the storage unit. And I am trying to look for my unit. But I think it's on the other side, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> Wish me luck. Listen, this is my first time, so... And I'm fucking lost. I think I found it. I found it. Oh, no. It's not taken. It's mine. Okay, I found it. This is my unit. It's a small unit, so hopefully I could fit everything that's there in there. Or else I have to get a bigger one. I thought it was going to be very small for the things that I uh, got. But look, it's pretty big. Pretty big, and everything is gonna fit. Keep your hopes hopes up, Catherine. You're so no annoying with your bad hope stuff. So here I am, starting to put everything where it goes, trying to make sure it's placed nice and neat inside the locker, because I need all the space that it could give me. Because I did bring a lot of things, and the locker is pretty big, actually. I'm very surprised. The, cam the camera fell, so I fixed it, and I'm still putting things in. I am organizing, trying to make sure everything is neatly placed so that everything could have space and everything could fit perfectly. Just in case I have to come back and put more things in, which most likely I would because Noel's room, Noel's closet has a whole bunch of memories that I could come and take it to my, to my storage locker and place them in there. But as of right now, I just took the bulky items out of my coat closet and just started to place it in so stay tuned Look how much space is left. And I was complaining. But one thing I cannot bring was the air conditioner. Thank God I didn't bring the air conditioner because... Yes, it is spacious, but to carry the air conditioner from all the way down there to all the way up here is not, it's not good. So I'm glad that I didn't bring it, but I'm glad that I came because this place is really clean and really, really, really organized. And I am very excited to keep my stuff here because at the end of the day, and you need a safe place to have your stuff in. And I'm very happy with everything that's happen in this place and they even give me a free padlock Shh. look what i mean about the stairs they're probably calling me from the front oh no that's my mom i have the phone for the front they don't have this number probably my son actually my super calling because he is so slick he knew that i was stepping out he knew that I was going somewhere. So then he's like, oh, he was supposed to go fix something in my house earlier today before 11 o'clock a.m. And then he calls me telling me that he couldn't come because he had some things to do. But if I'm not going to be home, whatever, because he see he saw what I was doing. So I was like, I'm still going to be home on time. You said after one o'clock. So now he's calling me. Now he's calling me because he knows I'm not home. So now he wants to call me so then he could have an excuse that I wasn't home very slick of him i knew he was gonna do that so my super called again telling me hey are you there and i said yeah i'm here and he's like okay i have to run to home depot to get those stuff i thought you weren't gonna be home and i said no i'm home 
I'm home. And he's like, oh, okay, so I'll call you when I'm there. Okay, call me whenever you're ready. Because you, I need you to fix that. Up my unit. Now I'm all, I'm now I'm on my way home because the super thing is that he's slick. So I have to be there before he gets back. And I am so excited. I have a storage area so I can store my seasonal stuff. Everything is fine. What is that? It's a sock. <laughs> Scary ass how I was like, oh my god. If somebody's watching me from the camera, they probably saw that I pressed that button thinking that that was the elevator. Instead of this button, I didn't notice that the elevator was not coming because I was so busy taking pictures, doing videos, talking crap. And I am so excited to put my things away. Now I don't have to give my stuff away. Now I could just store them occasionally storing right now i just stored um christmas stuff which is the biggest holiday for me which is christmas because it comes with the trees it comes with the ornaments it comes with everything else the other um holidays doesn't come with any of that like like thanksgiving only comes with like the plates and you know and those are easy storage at home but i am happy i am happy so excited. Did I get my ID? I hope I did. Okay, so now I get to go home and finish organizing everything that I started. I was able to do what I had to do today, which was get rid of um get rid of my So I came to Dollar Tree real quick because I'm like, I don't have um, garbage bags and I'm just going to get garbage then to drink and that's it because I'm not going to go all out. Tomorrow I have a, I have to go food shopping and run a, a few more errands, but I'm just going to get the essential now. Well, not really the, es the essential, just, you know, some things, you know what I mean? Just some things. So I parked them on my house. Look at Dollar Tree back there. And I'm just going to see what they have. And then I'm going to go home. And the super better show up. A good Samaritan. And I threw my... Throwing the garbage in the garbage. Thank you. And I literally threw my whole phone in the garbage. I came to... Um, I came to Dollar Tree. And guess what? I'm doing everything but... What I came to get. I'm just looking. I'm not... Trying to get anything out of I'm just I'm gonna get this for Noel's room for his front door. And this for my fireplace, which I'm gonna get a better one because this one looks beat up. I literally don't buy just one thing because you start seeing other things that you haven't seen throughout the times that you've come to Dollar Tree. So here I am, just looking. I bought this because this tastes so good. And I'm only going to get this because I always get stuff that I don't need. So this, so I did not go overboard today with Dollar Tree stuff. 
And while I was in Dollar Tree, I found a phone and I gave it to the cashier. And then a man came inside and he's like, oh my God, you guys found my phone? And the lady was like, oh, she just handed it to me. And then the man called it. It was his. He was like trying to give me money. And I said, no, 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 no. God bless you. God bless you. That's all God. Like, come on. There's hard times out here. What am I doing? Trying to like find a phone and taking it and not giving it to the cashier. Because I know whoever lost the phone is going to come back to look for it in the store. If it would have been in the streets, that's something else. You know, the person calls, you pick up the phone and whatever the case may be. But like in a store, never. Girl at the store was like, you know, times are hard phone and i said listen times are hard but that doesn't mean that i have to take somebody else's phone what makes you think it's not hard for him it's gonna be harder for him to get a phone and then she's like true true and then right there the men came back and i was like you know now he's happy now we're all happy now i'm i'm very happy that at least i was there to know that that man came back for his phone and he got his phone and that the girl didn't want to take it because when she told me that i was like kind of scared for him i was like oh man i gave it to the wrong person but she works there you know so at least he got his phone now i'm heading back home and i just got i didn't get the i didn't get the garbage bag that i went in there for and i'm not going back in there's a whole line oh man i literally it was like god wanted me there so i could be sure that that man got his phone and he was like trying to bless me with money see god works in miracle ways see you home So now I'm heading back home. It was a long day today, but it was successful. I got to get a lot of things done. And now I will be ending the vlog here. And thank you for watching. Hope you like and subscribe in the future. Maybe now, maybe later. But I have to cook and I have to just relax after everything I did today. So these are the so what i purchased from dollar tree was this sign so i could put it like in my fireplace this so i could put on top of my fireplace this bandage kit so cute so i could put it on my keychain a rice that i'm gonna make moto with right now i bought this butter body butter to try it out i bought this maybe this is what i should be eating right now I also bought this paper because I have to give a, a gift to my niece. I mean, to my cousin. So, this bag and this paper.